I'd be lying if I told you I didn't need some sort of relief from all the hustle and bustle of the week. And music does it for me, as well as for millions of people out there. So if you're one of those people, then this is a conversation you don't want to miss right here. We have joining us, uh, well, the brain behind uh, the 500 City Choir, Shalom Matthew, who's a founder and artistic director, City Choir. He's right here with us in our studio. We had to get him back in spite of not being able to have him on Wednesday. Shalom, Matthew. Good morning. Hi, Welcome good morning. morning I'm so excited to be here. I mean, because I was saying that, you don't, you don't look like a, a choir master. You look like a not rock star. <laughs> Come on. Well, thank you so much. What is inspiration? Because you, you've made, um, okay, a backstory here. Being a member of a choir growing up was mixed feelings. You know, there was a painful part, mm -hmm. right? There's a part where you don't want to go for rehearsals because yeah. you don't want anybody to talk down on you. You don't want to go through stress. But right now, you're making it look glamorous. So people see it as something cool. Young people, Gen Z's, now want to be a part of a choir that used to be like an old school thing. Yeah. So first, how were you able to make the choir thing, the ensemble seem glamorous and cool? All right, so I've always been a choir boy. Right. So I understand what it means to not want to be in the choir. Because, Tell me about yeah. that. <laughs> so, you know, when you learn on that, people who are really, ah, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that. I mean, I just felt like music is a very important tool in our generation, yeah. especially to unite people. And I thought about how it is important for us to come together as musicians, to build a community where we can, you know, thrive, learn, grow. So I, I saw that, okay, what, what are the things that we need to do differently? Mm -hmm. Don't make rehearsals terrible for people. Thank you. Do you get, it's not, it's not a do or die affair. <laughs> make it beautiful. Let people come, you know, let, let them enjoy the moment. Let the songs be beautiful. You know, apart from rehearsing, let's have side attractions. Let's have games. Let's have this. Let's, yeah. you know, something that people can just not want to miss rehearsals. Do you get, yeah. And, and you know, Shalom, relatedly, um, I wonder what is the driving force for you uh, to choose um, the behind the scene role of a choir master, mm. you know, to sue um, appearing on the bright lights and glamour scene of the Nigerian music industry, you know, because a lot of them also emanated from the choir. They were mm -hmm. probably keyboardists, they were probably mm -hmm. vocalists, uh, they were probably, um, you know, a member of the choir at some point. But when they broke, yeah, they broke away also from the choir. So mm -hmm. why are you nurturing the choir vision? Okay, so I believe in the power of community. You know, it's not everybody that will blow, first and foremost. We, we, we just have this vision of building a place where... So the, one of the visions of the choir is to build a community where people come to learn. So we have different directors, apart from me being the artistic director. We have vocal directors. We have directors in different fields that are there to enable that people grow. So it's not, it's not, it's not about you. So we're not competing with anybody. We're just trying to complement. Mm. So it's not about, it's not your show. It's our show. It's our thing. So I believe that the only way that we can reach the world faster is coming together and, you know, doing stuff together. So it's not bad to blow. I mean, of course, we have recording artists in the choir, but then you can come, you know, let's do something together. It's mm. better that way. It's very interesting. We also get to the point where we will ask how do we get into your choir? <laughs> do we need to lobby? Since we have you, we just hold him. <laughs> and so we have to be a part. But that's on the side. You also have a personal story. Yeah. Because when you said not everybody will blow, uh, I know that this is also coming from your personal story. And I know you've told that story before, how I think you went for a reality show. Am oh, I yeah. correct? Yeah. I don't know if you got a turn or not, but you took all of that disappointment and you're able to blow right now. <laughs> because whether you like it or not, <laughs> You are blown, even though I don't like that term. <laughs> so speak to us, your personal story. How did you take that pain, maybe rejection, and you're able to turn this around to help others fulfill their dreams? Because mm. there are people on your choir who are also fulfilling their dreams of wanting to sing and do it on the stage. Yeah, so um, apart from the reality TV show, I was supposed to leave the country in 2022. Because, you know, when you study music, like everybody wants to go, you know, abroad to do something better. Like mm -hmm. let's just further 
So I, I got the admission, I got the scholarship, but it was half. I could not afford it. For some, for I don't know, for a very funny reason, all the people I reached out to that, oh, please support me, I need to leave. Like, the plan was to leave. Like, I was ready to leave. I had done my auditions, I was ready, but the money was not coming. So I was depressed. It was, 2022 was that year. I was really sad. All my friends had gone. So I said, okay, what am I going to do? Because music in, in Nigeria is stressful, can be very overwhelming. So I started teaching, you know, voice classes. I get people to train. And it was not just, I was not fulfilled. Mm. And last year, July, I just heard, I, I heard God clearly start a community choir. I'm sorry, so this choir is how old? It's a year. We started last year, August. 500 people already. Okay, we started with Choristers. 200. Yeah, we started with 200 people last year, August 22nd. And um, it was... <laughs> It was interesting, actually, to, I, I, I put the video online that I needed like 200 people, let's start something different. And then the first video we posted had over a million views. I was like, what was happening? Slow down, slow down, wait, let's. <laughs> so this choir, I need to reiterate. I thought this choir was at least 10 years old. No, 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 old, we just maybe celebrated an adolescent, a teenager. our one year anniversary last month, 22nd. Tell me something. Yeah. <laughs> And in one year, you've had exploits, apparently. <laughs> so tell us about those exploits. Well, it's discipline. You know, that's one thing that we don't find in some choir. It's discipline. And there, 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 there's this group of dedicated people who are there 247. You know, they are my friends also, but we'll call them the governing body. They ensure that things work well, like vocals, uniforms, rehearsals, you know, it's, it's a lot of work to see this going. From the fact that we don't even have, you know, um, a lot of, how do I put it? We don't have a lot of people, you know, who reach out and say, well, let, we, we, let's support this, but we have some certain people that have seen our videos and be like, oh no, we want to, you know, we have Mr. Shola, we have a lot of people oh. that support, you know, the vision. So it's not easy, yeah. Clearly, it is not easy. I, I'm just thinking about how much of uh, work rehearsals would be. Because I've been in a small choir of just a few people. I don't know how tough it is coordinating people. Rehearsal is a whole event. Like right, it's a whole Because you have at least 500 people. Yes, and I'm right? not talking instrumentalists. So I don't even want to think about uniform. Because uniform is something that can scatter uh, <laughs> choir. But I'm curious about how lucrative this is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Um, you, you, you do classic music, you do soulful music, music that will take you away, but music that you have to listen to live most times. I, I, know, I imagine that you do recorded and stuff, but a lot of your work is live. And um, I don't know how much events young people go for where they will readily want to listen uh, to a choir. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. Most people just want to plug in, listen to Afrobeat and all of that. So how lucrative has this been for you and how are you able to creatively do what you're doing so you can sustain at least 500 people? All right, so with the music aspect, we don't only do classics. We try to, you know, rearrange the songs so that it suits this generation, so that p different people can relate. There are times that our content is traditional because we want to reach a particular type of audience. There are times that is this type of language and there are times that we want to do something really a, 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 a because of course we are young people. So it's, we, we, we have this vision of reaching different types of people regardless. You cannot be, you cannot be a Gen Z and say you don't enjoy the city choir because there's something that will just captivate you. Wow, this is amazing. And, you know, sustaining this, you know, I'm a child of God and I believe in, you know, the mm. power of God and his ability to provide, you know, for every of our needs. And he has done that in the past one year. But we have people who are there, you know, as supporters, as encourage us that oh, this is we've we've been to weddings we've performed at major events in lagos and you know it's not free <laughs> yeah it's Th not this free. was where was this okay that was that was just a content the okay. rehearsal okay yeah this is rehearsal this is rehearsal this is not even a performance so we have costume for rehearsals <laughs> so so uh, wow. um 
without being negative, but are you concerned that um, some clients would rather, you know, go for a one-man band, which would, you know, be less costlier than go, going for a city choir of 500 people yeah. uh, where you would have to be charging more such that, you know, um, something can go around everybody in the choir? Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. Like, we've had, you know, um, people reach out, oh, we just want 10 people. No. The city choir is about <laughs> they have to take us all. Yeah, it's, no, it's not all, right. but you know, there's a there's a number that right. because if we are coming as the city choir, the idea is the number. When you see the city choir, you'll be like, oh, look at mm -hmm. them! Oh my god! Right. Yeah, that's the idea. So you know, we don't get disappointed if we don't get any um, what's it called because we are more focused on building and then building something really standard. Mm. So if yeah. Pardon me, we cannot do this conversation. Mm -hmm. We're about to wind up without you, the choir master. <laughs> choir master. Choir <laughs> master. So in about a minute, what can we do? What can we, we are your cho chorister, so what can you do? By the way, you have a very beautiful baritone voice. Tell them. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. So what do you think we can do in Okay, seconds? let's let's try this. Um let's do this song. You have rescued my life. You have rescued my life And I'm never going back So you have rescued my life, let me hear Let me do treble oh, yeah. you <laughs> One, two, ready, go everybody One, you. two, go You have rescued my life You have rescued my life Go on And I'm never Going back. One more time. One, two, go. You have rescued my life. Yeah. You have rescued my life. And I'm never going back. You swap parts. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. came down. <laughs> you went high was, and then you yeah, came yeah, down. Yeah. Came down. Uh, do we really have to close the show right now? <laughs> Come on. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so, you so much. much. We can go on and much. on. And hopefully one of us will be live, sure. uh, you know, to get all of that richness, the work that you do at the City Choir. Shalom Matthew, founder, mm -hmm. artistic director, City Choir. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much for your time. You we wish you the best and our love Thank to you. the City Choir. <laughs> to the City Thank Choir. So Please send our love Thank to them. Much. Thank you I once really again. It. Thank you. So there you go. Mm -hmm. We hope we've been able to give you some sort of motivation, inspiration, soulful music for the weekend. It's going to be a long weekend, clearly. But we have to anchor at this point. Channels Television is live in Edo State covering all of that election. So stay with us right here if you want to know everything about the election. I'm Kairo Kikul. And don't forget, Sunrise Daily will be up next. But before that, ensure that the singing continues in your hearts and in your homes. We'll be back again on Monday. Thank you so much for watching. I am Bukola Koka. We'll do this one more time. Yeah.